Hello, this is Willie. Hello, Willie Tyler. This is Justin Firstenfeld, the Blue October. Justin, man, how are you doing? I am so super, I can't stand it. It's great to hear from you. Thanks for taking time with us this morning. Hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time. You know, I was uh, I was digging around on the internet a little bit this morning, getting ready, and I found an interview of you interviewing yourself. Yeah, do you like that? Dude, that was so funny. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't know you were such a funny guy. You know, I mean, you got some deep stuff uh, in your songs. I didn't know you were you were a comedian too. Oh, I'm freaking. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that either until I got sober, and then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I'm kind of funny. Hey, I'm kind of. I don't have to be sad yeah. all the time, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, but no, I went into that interview in uh, New York, and they just had a mirror sitting in there, and I was like, hey, can I just interview myself? It was super funny. Uh, where are you at today? Well, I'm in the middle of the desert right now, so if for some reason. We get disconnected. I will call you back when I don't have that <laughs> reception. But so. you guys have spent a lot of time in the desert lately. We have, man. We just shot a whole video in Joshua Tree Desert for that's, two days. It was super dope. That's got to be so cool. It's beautiful out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to drive around a 1957 Chevy too, convertible in blue. Nice. It was like it was so dope. I was like, okay, the premise of the video: Justin is lost in the desert looking for his homies. Justin finds his homies in a 1957 Chevy. They all drive off. Bam. Video. Bam. Done. Video. Perfect. So you guys... I mean, who wouldn't want to be lost in a desert only to find his homies in a 1957 Chevy? Exactly. You know? Exactly. So you wrapped up the video. Uh, where are you heading to this week? Because you're, you're not going to be in Montana until next week. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're going to San Francisco tonight. Then we got, Spoke, then we got, then we got Portland. Then we got Seattle. Then we got Spokane. Then we got a day off at some water park that my road manager hooked up, and I'm super, super excited about that. Is that northern Idaho? I have no clue. I bet it, I bet it is. It seems like that's along the way, and I've, I've been northern there. I, that's the one I'm thinking. Northern Idaho? Is that where it is? Silverton. Yeah, I've so, been there, man. I've been there. You've been? Is it dope? It's pretty cool. Yeah, you'll have a good time. Oh, I can't wait. And then, I'm uh, going to shoot a music video on a water slide. There Watch. you go. <laughs> Then next Tuesday night, the Wilma Theater in Missoula. Have you guys uh, played Montana before? Oh, it's amazing. I thought you'd been here before. Oh, yeah. I I love it. That little town is so awesome. Missoula, yeah, it's a blast. Not too far for us to drive over. We catch a lot of shows over in Missoula. I know a while back you guys opened for the Stones, right? Oh, yeah. That must have been amazing. Yeah, that was super dope. I got to meet uh, um, Mick Jagger and all the Keith Richards and... You know, and then I got to play for 30 minutes up in front of 25,000 people, and it was pretty crazy. <laughs> What's it like hanging with Keith Richard? Uh, it was like hanging with, like, this undeniable legend that you just kind of sat there and went like, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I kept wanting to ask him, how have you survived? Right. But I didn't. <laughs> Right. Um, you guys are blowing up right now with home. Yeah, it's crazy, right? We're number thirty seven on the top forty and it's just it's just it's just great. It's great, you know. I'd be happy if it where if we stayed where we are, but you know, we always gotta fight for the, the good fight to keep it going. Well you guys kinda came out of the box huge too. When you got discovered way back in Texas, you basically had like a year's worth of gigs booked before you ever had a, a deal, right? Oh, year of shit. We had, um, we were on the road for three, four years before we ever got our first deal, you know? And, um, and then we got dropped and then we kept touring and then we got our second deal and, uh, and then we left them and now here, here we are on our own label. It's, it's been a crazy, crazy ride, but it's been, Amazing. You know, I, I remember that because Universal signed you in like late 90s and then dropped you like the next year, right? Yeah. And then you guys got even more popular and then they came back and they offered you a deal and you're like, Psh, nah. <laughs> yeah, in 2003, they offered us another deal. So we took it uh-huh. and we kept and we kept them until 2010. And then we left them and I started my own label. And now here we are. And it's great because now we're back on top 40 and we're doing it our own way and you know, just being grateful for every single thing that we get and not trying to be number one. We're just trying to make good music and surpass uh, what we've done before. 
and uh, so far it's working out. You know, I think that's part of your success too is that positive attitude. Just about you have yeah. like the the most positive Facebook page out of anybody I know. Every day is like <laughs> you're, you're just happier and happier every day. You have to. I mean, like seriously, I've spent so many years complaining. It's time to wake up and say, "Yo, come on, let's embrace this life." <laughs> you get too happy. I'm I'm expecting some sort of a big pop dance album. Hey, don't worry. I'll give you one. If you ask real nicely, I'll give you one. <laughs> uh, we're looking forward to it, man. The Wilma Theater, Missoula, next Tuesday night. You guys have a safe trip, Justin. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. God bless, and you have a good one. Call us if you need anything. All right. Thanks.